All right, my friends, for today's math lesson, we are finishing up lesson 14's problem set on page 57 in our green math practice books. So, we're going to use those same three strategies we've been working on. Number bonds, quick 10 drawings, and expanded form. For letter A, let's use quick 10s. So I am going to start with the number 48. I'll do one, two, three, four tens, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight ones. Awesome. Now for 21. I know 21 has two tens, so I'll draw one, two, and it has just one, one. Now I'll make my little place value chart. And even though I may not use all three columns every time, I'm gonna make it with ones, tens, and hundreds. All right, so let's count up our ones first. I see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine ones. How about tens? One, two, three, four, five, six tens. Do I have any hundreds? No, I do not. So I will leave it blank. And now I'll write my answer on the line. Moving on to letter B. I'm going to use number bonds for this one. Now I made overlap, oh well. So I will divide 48 up first into tens and ones. How many ones are in 48? Eight ones. How about tens in 48? I have four tens, which is the same as 40. Now for num the number 22. How many ones are in 22? Two ones. Now how about tens? I have two tens, which is the same as 20. And now I will draw my place value chart. Let's do ones, tens, and hundreds. Awesome. Let's count up our ones first. I see two and eight. What is two plus eight? Two plus eight is 10. But wait a minute, can I put 10 in my ones place? No, right? I can only fit one digit. So what should I do? I will write down the zero and regroup my one over here. I haven't done tens yet, so I'm just gonna write this little one here so I don't forget about it. Now let's do our tens. I know I have 20, which is the same as two tens, and then I have 40, which is the same as four tens. So two plus four. Two plus four equals six. Oh, but I can't forget about the one I just regrouped, so let's do six plus one. Six plus one is seven, seven tens. Do I have any hundreds? No, right? So I will leave that one blank and just write my answer 70 on the line. Now for letter C, let's do expanded form. 39 plus 43. All right, I'll start with 39 in expanded form. And I'm just going to make 39 into its own little number sentence, breaking up the tens and ones. So let's look at tens first. How many tens are in 39? Three tens, right? Which is the same as 30. Now let's add in our ones. How many ones are in 39? I have nine ones. 
Awesome, that is 39 in expanded form. Now let's do 43. How many tens are in 43? Four tens, which is the same as 40. Now let's add in our ones. How many ones are in 43? Three ones. Perfect, so I will draw my place value chart. Let's add up our ones first. What is nine plus three? Nine plus three is 12. But once again, can I write two digits in one column of my place value chart? No, right? I can only put one. So if my number is 12, I'll just keep the two over here and I'll bring that one to my tens place. I'll write it here to make sure I don't forget it. Now let's add up the tens. We've got 30 and 40. So I know 30 is the same as three tens and 40 is the same as four tens, so we can just add three and four. What is three plus four? Three plus four is seven. Oh, but I can't forget my little one that I regrouped, my little 10 that I just regrouped. So seven plus one, what would that give me? Seven plus one is eight. Now, do I have any hundreds? No, right? So I'll leave it blank. And my answer is 82. Moving on to letter D, let's do quick tens again. So I'll draw out 48 first. How many tens are in 48? Four, right? So let's draw out one, two, three, four tens. And now how many ones are in 48? Eight ones. So let's draw out one, two, three, four, five six, seven, eight. Now let's draw out 34. How many tens are in 34? I have three tens, so one, two, three. And how many ones are in 34? One, two, three, four ones. Now I will draw out my place value chart. Let's count up our ones first. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve ones. So once again, what do I need to do? I need to regroup. So I will put the two and 12 in my ones place and I'll bring that one over to my tens place. Now let's count up all of our tens. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Don't forget this little guy, eight. So my answer is 82. For letter E, let's use number bonds again. So I need to break up both numbers into tens and ones using my number bonds. Let's start with 77. How many ones are in 77? Seven ones. Now how about tens? I have seven tens, which I know is the same as 70. Awesome, now let's do 14. How many ones are in 14? There are four ones. And how many tens? Just one ten, right? Which is the same as ten. 
Now let's add up our ones. I have seven and four. What is seven plus four? Seven plus four equals 11. Ooh, and I can't write both of those digits in one place value column. So what do I need to do? I need to regroup. So I will write that one in the ones place for my 11 in the ones column. And I'll bring the other one over to the tens column. Now let's add up all of our tens. So I have 70, which I know is the same as seven tens and 10, which I know is the same as 110. So seven plus one. Seven plus one is eight. Ooh, and I can't forget the 10 that I just regrouped. So eight plus one is nine. And my answer is 91. All right, moving on to letter F. 67 plus 27. Let's use expanded form. So I'll write my expanded form number sentence for 67 first. How many tens do I have in 67? I have six tens, which is the same as 60. Now let's add in our ones. How many ones are in 67? I have seven ones. Awesome, now let's write 27 in expanded form. How many tens do I have in 27? I have two tens, which is the same as 20. And now we'll add in our ones. How many ones are in 27? I have seven ones. Now I'll draw my place value chart. Let's add up our ones first. Seven plus seven. Seven plus seven is 14. Once again, I cannot write two numbers in one column of my place value chart. So if my number is 14, I'm gonna write that four in the ones place and bring the one over to the tens place. Awesome, now let's do our tens. I have 60, which I know is six tens, and 20, which I know is two tens. So six plus two. Six plus two is eight. And don't forget, I need to add in that 10 that I just regrouped. So what is eight plus one? Eight plus one is nine. So my answer is 94. Awesome, letter G, 58 plus 37. Let's use quick tens for this one again. So I'll draw 58 first. How many tens are in 58? Five tens. So I will draw one, two, three, four, five tens. And now how many ones are in 58? I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight ones in 58. And now let's draw 37. How many tens are in 37? I have one, two, three tens. And how many ones are in 37? I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven ones. Now I will draw my place value chart. Let's add up our ones first. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 
15 ones all together. But once again, I cannot put two digits in one column in my ones place. So if my number is 15, I will write the five in the ones place and bring that one over to my tens column. Now let's add up all of our tens. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one over here, don't forget the one we just regrouped, nine. So my answer must be 95. Now for letter H, 68 plus 29, I'm gonna use number bonds again. All right, so I will break up 68 first. How many ones are in 68? I have eight ones. How many tens are in 68? I have six tens, which I know is the same as the number 60. Awesome. Let's do 29 now. How many ones are in 29? I have nine ones. And how many tens? I have two tens, which is the same as 20. Now let's draw our place value chart. And let's add up our ones first. So I see eight and nine. What is eight plus nine? Eight plus nine is 17. But I can't draw two digits in my ones place. What do I need to do? I need to regroup, right? So if my number is 17, I'll write the seven in my ones place and bring the one over to the tens place. And I'll write it there so I don't forget about it. Now let's add up our tens. I know I have 60, which is the same as six tens, and 20, which is the same as two tens. So what is six plus two? Six plus two is eight. And don't forget about the 10 that we just regrouped. So eight plus one. I have nine tens total. So my answer is 97. All right, my friends, moving on to page 58. For letter A, 39 plus 31, let's do expanded form. So I'll start with 39. How many tens are in 39? I have three tens, which is the same as 30. Now let's add in the ones. How many ones are in 39? I have nine ones. Now let's do 31. How many tens are in 31? I have three tens, which is the same as 30. And let's add in our ones. How many ones are in 31? I have one one. Now I'll draw my place value chart, ones, tens, and hundreds. Let's add up our ones first. What is nine plus one? Nine plus one is 10. And I can't write one and zero in my ones place, so I'll just write the zero in 10 there and bring the one over to my tens place. Now let's add up our tens. I have 30, which is the same as three tens, and another 30, which is the same as three tens. So what is three plus three? 
3 plus 3 is 6. And don't forget the one we just, or the 10 we just regrouped. So 6 plus 1 is 7. And my answer must be 70. All right, letter B, 58 plus 23. Let's do some quick tens. I'll start by drawing 58. How many tens are in 58? I have five tens. So I will draw one, two, three, four, five. And how many ones are in 58? I have eight ones. So I will draw one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now let's draw 23. How many tens do I have in 23? I have one, two tens. And how many ones? I have one, two, three ones. Now I will draw my place value chart. Hundreds, tens, and ones. Okay, let's add up our ones first. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven ones. And I can't write both of those ones in here, so I've got to regroup. I will put one in the ones place and bring the other one over to my tens place. Now let's add up all of our tens. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight tens. So my answer is 81. All right, letter C, 77 plus 23. Let's use some number bonds. All right, let's start with 77. How many ones do I have in 77? I have seven ones. Now how about tens? How many tens are in 77? I have seven tens, which I know is the same as the number 70. Awesome, let's do 23. How many ones are in 23? I have three ones. Now how about tens? How many tens are in 23? I have two tens, which I know is the same as 20. Now let's make our place value chart. Hundreds, tens, and ones. Okay, let's add up our ones first. I have three and seven. What is three plus seven? Three plus seven is 10. So it looks like I'll have to regroup. So I'll put the zero in that 10 in the ones place and put the one under this tens place right here. Now we can add up our tens. So I have 70, which I know is seven tens, and 20, which I know is two tens. So seven plus two. Seven plus two is nine. But wait a minute, don't forget the one we just regrouped, the 10 we just regrouped, nine plus one. So nine plus one is 10. Ooh, but I can't write both of those numbers in here, so I have to regroup again. So I will write that zero here and bring the one over here. So I only have 100. Awesome, so my answer is 100. All right, for letter D, let's use expanded form. 69 plus 26 equals, so let's start with 69 in expanded form. How, 
many tens are in 69? I have six tens, which I know is the same as 60. Now let's add in our ones. How many ones are in 69? I have nine ones. Awesome, let's do 26 in expanded form now. How many tens are in 26? I have two tens, which I know is the same as 20. And how many ones do I have in 26? I have six ones. We will make our place value chart, hundreds, tens, and ones. All right, let's add up our ones first. What is nine plus six? Nine plus six equals 15. I have to regroup for this one, so I will put the five in the ones place and bring that one up over the tens place. Now we can add up our tens. So I have 60, which I know is the same as six tens, and 20, which I know is the same as two tens. So six plus two. Six plus two is eight. But don't forget about the 10 we just regrouped. What is eight plus one? Eight plus one is nine. So my answer is 95. All right, for letter E, 68 plus 25. Let's use quick 10 drawings for this one again. So let's start drawing out 68. How many tens do I have? I have six tens. So I will draw one, two, three, four, five, six. Now how many ones are in 68? I have eight ones, so I will draw one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now let's draw 25. How many tens are in 25? I have two tens, so I will draw one, two, ten sticks. Now let's draw our ones. How many ones are in 25? I have five ones, so I will draw one, two, three, four, five. Now I'll draw my place value chart. I have hundreds, tens, and ones. Let's add up our ones first. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen ones. Okay, so I will have to regroup. If my number is 13, I'm gonna write that three in the ones place and bring the one above the tens place. Now we can add up our tens. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine tens. So my answer must be 93. Awesome. For letter F, 45 plus 37, let's do some number bonds. Let's do 45 first. Okay, how many tens are in 45? I have four tens, which I know is the same as 40. And how many ones do I have in 45? I have five ones. All right, now let's put 37 in our number bond. How many tens do I have in 37? I have three tens, which I know is the same as the number 30, and how many ones? I have seven ones. 
Now I'll draw my place value chart. Hundreds, tens, ones. Let's add up our ones first. I have five and seven. What is five plus seven? Five plus seven is 12. So it looks like I'll have to regroup. So if 12 is my number, I'm gonna write the two in the ones place and bring the one over to my tens place. Now I can add up those tens. So I have 40, which I know is the same as four tens, and 30, which I know is the same as three tens. So what is four plus three? Four plus three is seven. Oh, but I can't forget about the 10 I just regrouped. So what is seven plus one? Seven plus one is eight. So my answer must be 82. All right, letter G, 59 plus 39 equals, let's use expanded form. I'll start with 59. How many tens do I have in 59? I have five tens, which I know is the same as 50. Now let's add in our ones. How many ones are in 59? I have nine ones. Awesome, let's move on to 39. How many tens do I have in 39? I have three tens, which I know is the same as 30. Now, how many ones do I have? I have nine ones. All right, draw your place value chart, hundreds, tens, and ones. And let's add up our ones first. What is nine plus nine? Nine plus nine is 18. So if 18 is my number, I'm gonna write the eight in the ones place and bring the one over the tens place. Now I can add up my tens. I have 50, which I know is the same as five tens, and 30, which I know is the same as three tens. So what is five plus three? Five plus three is eight. But I can't forget about the 10 I just regrouped. So what is eight plus one? Eight plus one is nine. So my answer must be 98. All right, last one, 58 plus 38. For this one, let's use quick tens again. So I will draw 58 first. How many tens are in 58? I have five tens. So let's draw one, two, three, four, five. Now how many ones do I have? I have eight ones. So I will draw one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight ones. Now let's draw 38. How many tens are in 38? Three tens. So I will draw one, two, three. And now how many ones are in 38? I have eight ones. So I will draw one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'll make my place value chart, ones, tens, and hundreds. All right, let's add up our ones. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 ones. 
so I will have to regroup. And if 16 is my number, I will write the six in the ones place and bring the 10 over to the tens place. Now I can count up my tens. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine tens. So my answer is 96. All right, my friends, if you need more practice with this, you can do pages 59 and 60. And you may also work on lesson 15's problem set, pages 61 and 62. And lesson 15's homework pages, number 63 and 64.